Oh, greetings, Hello. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this uh, edition of the Arlington Weekly News for 2015, our first show in January 2015. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Nolan. Happy 2015. I'm Daniel Pineda. Welcome to 2015. <laughs> My name's Adele Quo. <laughs> Here we go with another show. We've been told to cut down on the chit chat. I mean, how can you do that? That's the most important part of the show. New some Year's nights, resolution. Some nights. Here we go. News and uh, easy being green with Adele. And it's, it's easy, easy being green. green. Here we go. CBB, uh, North Bethlehem is here with his Brain Healthy Minute. Rich in his reviews, news for seniors, and Rich doing double duty again and talking to the ladies from Teatro de la Luna. That's our show. But before we begin, a social media reminder. From Absolutely, my Mr. Nolan. You can watch the Arlington <laughs> Weekly News on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one, and also facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Senor Pineda. Muchas gracias. Here we go with the first of our news items right off the hot presses here. Well, if you aren't familiar with the Artisphere, it's the rosin-based go-to for an eclectic mix of contemporary art ranging from mixed media, film, dance, music, and more featuring artists from Arlington, around the country, and around the world. Uh, the county supported uh, venture, the venture supported by the county, uh, which opened in 2010, will most likely be closing. County Board Manager Barbara Donilon recommended the county board cut funding and close operations at the Artisphere by the 30th of June of this year. Uh, the move comes amid increasing budget pressures on the county and the Artisphere's inability, apparent inability, to meet revenue expectations. The county board has yet to vote on this proposal. Visit uh, theartisphere.com to read uh, about this and also Director jo Jose Ortiz's response uh, to all of this. Check out their website. Daniel. Well, absolutely, Craig. Arlington County Manager Barbara Donilon has appointed Victor L. Hostians to be the Director of Arlington Economic Development, or AED. Hostians will begin his tenure on January the 20th. Before joining Arlington County Government, Mr. Hostians served as Deputy Chief Administrative Officer for Economic Development and Public Infrastructure of Prince George's County. Craig. All right, Daniel, and next of our news items, uh, County Manager Donilon also appointed Carol J. Mitten as Deputy County Manager. She started uh, on uh, January 5th of this year. Ms. Mitten has previously worked as the Executive Director for Urban Affairs and Headquarters Consolidation at the Department of Homeland Security. So we welcome her. Absolutely. Arlington Conditions. Daniel. Well, Craig, in County School News, Superintendent Patrick Murphy is one of four finalists for National Superintendent of the Year selected by AASA, the School Superintendents Association. Dr. Murphy was also recognized as Virginia Superintendent of the Year by our State Association of School Superintendents. Congratulations. And also, Daniel, in our news items, the Arlington County Medical Society has awarded Dr. Marie Schumbrady its annual Wellborn Award for Outstanding Medical and Community Service. She's been an active member of Arlington County Medical Society and the greater Arlington community for a number of years. In addition to her medical practice, she teaches at Arlington Career Center, and she used to produce a monthly show right here on AIM called Health Choices. Health Choices, pardon me. Uh, so we offer our uh, congratulations and kudos uh, to Dr. Marie. We know her well. She's a friend of the show. Uh, good job. Yes, congratulations. congratulations. Dr. Marie Schumbrady, we're proud of you. Next, Daniel. Well, Craig, Arlington County offices and senior centers will be closed on Monday, January the 19th in honor of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Arlington Public Schools will be closed on both Monday the 19th and Tuesday the 20th for students. Teachers will work on Tuesday. Teachers still got to work. Students mm -hmm. off, teachers working. Yep. So we have good schools here in Arlington. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, moving right along this edition, our first in 2015 with Adele and It's, it's Easy Being Green. Green. Here's Adele Quarrel. Hey, Adele. Hey. Welcome, everyone, to 2015's new Easy Being Green with my growing menagerie of mascots. We have Joe Tree Frog here and my newest one, Fifi, Fifi. from the Everglades. From Florida. <laughs> yes, Fifi welcome. From Florida. Yes. And as you can tell, I just crossed off the Everglades and the Biscayne National Parks and Big Cypress National Preserve from my bucket list. All right. 
you're going to see endangered, rare, and wacky native plants, wacky. wildlife, and birds in their natural <laughs> habitat where humans are the interlopers. Challenging your plant stereotypes, two of the wackiest encountered that uh, are down there in the Everglades are strangler fig Ooh. and meat eating aquatic bladderwort. Oh, <laughs> yes, goodness. just as their name says. They're very weird. In the animal kingdom, the Everglades National Park is the only place in the world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. But the rare and critically endangered American crocodile tend to be shy, reclusive, and rarely seen by people. Around a thousand mysterious crocs inhabit South Florida's coastal mangrove swamps and saltwater pond, cove, or creek habitats with rough, roughly 50 nests in the Everglades and Biscayne National Park. And I got to view one of these rare crocs, and on the screen is my pick, showing itself, sunning itself in a far corner of the Flamingo Marina. Another endangered mammal that likes to feed in these shallow waters Unfortunately, collision with boats and habitat loss are still huge threats to their slow moving, moving manatee. I lucked out and got to watch about five to six manatees playing at the Flamingo Marina. One of them, as you can see on the screen, was very curious, came up and said hi. Um, another rare uh, animal, the Florida panther, is down to about 50 living in the wild, primarily in the Everglades and Big Cypress Swamp. Those eluded me, didn't see a one of them. But the Everglades watershed is also a significant breeding ground for wading birds in North America. So it's a bird watcher's paradise. Sadly, only a tiny remnant of the region's original bird population remains from a century of environmental assault on all sides. Once, large numbers of flamingos like my friend Fifi could have been seen along the coast near Flamingo, Florida, which is now a true ghost town. And sadly, again, flamingos no longer breed there. So several of these cool flora and fauna can't be found anywhere else in the U.S. Will these endangered species survive and reproduce, or will they disappear? So once you visit, it will definitely change you, and the experience will stay with you. And remember, it's easy being green after you visit the Everglades. Mm, very nice. Fifi. So, go, I recommend. Yeah, that sounds like Fifi had some input on that one. She man. did. Really. <laughs> Everglades is great. Good job. Yeah, we wonderful appreciate trip. appreciate it. Thanks, Adele. Thank you, Thanks, Adele. Guys. All right, moving right along now, as promised on uh, this edition of the Arlington Weekly News, for our first in 2015 is our CBB Community Bulletin Board file. Here we go. Taylor Elementary School students will present an intergenerational multicultural dance program at Langston Brown Senior Center. Uh, this free event uh, will be open to the public on Tuesday, January 14 at 11 in the morning. For more information, here's their number, 703-228-6300. Daniel. Well, Cred, the Arlington Career Center will host its annual open house on Saturday, January the 10th from 9 to 11 a.m. at 816 South Walter Reed Drive. Attendees will have the opportunity to talk with instructors in the digital media, IT, engineering, health, medical, and public service fields. For more information, visit their website at apsva.us slash career center. All right, Daniel, and speaking of the artosphere, and we were, Boat Journeys is an exhibit at the artosphere. It's a series of drawings and collages inspired by constant motion of urban environmental commuters. I'm sorry, environment commuters. Artists and residents at the, the Arlington Art Center, Rachel Schmidt, expresses stories she finds in these environments through her artwork for the Art on the Art bus program. To see her work, visit Courthouse Metro Route 41 bus stop, the bus fare to the ride, and uh, view the exhibit. Uh, the fare is $1.50. You can't beat that. The display ends at the end of January. Daniel. Well, Craig, Dome Theater local singer, songwriter Justin Trawick. The Nine Songwriter series features performances by nine solo singer songwriters, including Trawick, who will perform in rotation, providing audiences with a rich, intimate, and varied listening experience. Frustrated by the lack of performance opportunities for solo artists, Justin Trawick created the concert series in 2008 and has since collaborated with over 60 artists at shows in the D.C. area. 
New York City, Richmond, Philadelphia, Charlottesville, and more. The show is typically comprised of two sets. The first set features two solo pieces from each performer, and the second set is similar to the encore set where the group plays. The event will take place on Friday, that's January the 16th, at 8 p.m. Tickets are $12. All right, Daniel, and uh, we'll be back with uh, Rich and his reviews and our news for seniors right after we hear from Nort Beckerman and his Brain Healthy Minute. Here's Nort. Hi, I'm Nort Beckerman, the Brain Health Coach. Did you have a great time this holiday season? I hope you did, because there's a good chance that your brain didn't. If you're like most people, you probably interrupted your normal schedule to get ready for the holiday. Most likely, that meant that you weren't getting much physical exercise. Then during the holidays, you probably ate too much, and probably too much of the wrong foods. You possibly had too much beer and wine. Your brain might not have been happy about all this, but if you don't do this only once a year, it probably won't do much harm. It's the rest of the year that you have to be careful about. To help, I would like you to give your brain a name. Pick a name. Now, your charge for the rest of the year is to take care of that three pound person that rides around on your shoulders. Let's say you call that little person Randy or Rachel. Your job is to keep them healthy and functioning effectively. You can do it. Stay hydrated. Make sure you're physically active. Eat the right foods. Minimize your intake of simple carbs and saturated fats. Come next year, that little person on your shoulders is going to be ready to party. I'm Lord Beckerman, the Brain Health Coach. I'll see you next time for a Brain Healthy Minute. All right, our very own Nort Beckerman and his Brain Healthy Minute. Thanks, Nort. We appreciate it. Up next on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News for 2015 is our man about town for theater of the arts and a whole lot more, Mr. Rich Misabney. Thank you, away, thank Rich. you, thank you, Craig. Uh, the Signature Theater in Charlington has a great show. It's a world premiere, too, Diner. It's set in 1959, and they have a beautiful diner, actual diner thing there with neon sign on the, uh, on the set. And this is a, a bunch of guys in 1959, high school graduates, that kind of thing, who uh, are hanging around and they got girls and they got things and whatever it is. It's, it's a ch cheerful show. Uh, the story is reminiscent of a young adulthood of mine back in Brooklyn. Anyway, uh, it's good to hear a doo-wop beat and all that kind of thing. And, and it brings back memories of Dick Clark's uh, American Bandstand. And, and great music uh, by uh, uh, Lon Hoyt. It's difficult to write about the cast individually. There's so many of them there, but there's, there's, uh, it's a good show. Anyway, the phone number to call at Signature Theater in Sherlington is 703-820-9771. And uh, their website is uh, www.signature-theater with an R-E dot org. And that plays till January 25. Uh, American Century Theater, one of our favorites, uh, is doing Crime and Punishment. And uh, uh, that's about cops. And that's the subject today, what he's talking about. Crime and Punishment. It's 703-998-4555. And uh, the, the website is uh, American uh, Century Theater with an ER dot org. And uh, that uh, is coming up very soon now. So you might have checked their website and see about the American Century Theater's uh, Crime and Punishment. And then finally, I want to tell you about, again, about uh, our restaurant uh, knocked me out in Leesburg, Virginia. I don't go out there too often, but uh, Palio Ristorante Italiano is really a lovely, lovely place. And uh, there's a great guy named David. He's a general manager. And, but, I, but Leesburg is nice, you know? You forget, it's all like close. Everything's close. I mean, it, it's not it's wide streets. Now. Yeah, it's very it small. Is it is. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Palio Restaurante Italiano, 703-779-0060. And their website is www.paleoofleesburg.com. Mm. 
There, it's on the screen. Thank you. Did That's you try it. the spaghetti? Yes. Spaghetti? <laughs> yes. Well, well, can't, you can't have good spaghetti yeah. with a name like oh, that. Palio no, Restaurant good. Italiano. It was, it was good and it was worth it. All right. Good job. Thank Thanks, you, Rich. Rich. We Thank appreciate you. it. All right. Here we go. Next up on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News for 2015 is our News for Seniors segment. And the first item, Nort Beckerman, author of A User's Guide to a Healthy Brain, our very own Nort Beckerman, will be leading a free interactive workshop each week uh, to help seniors understand how, to, how their brain works, how it functions, and what's needed to keep it functioning properly and effectively. Uh, the workshop will be held every Monday at 10, 10 in the morning to 11, uh, at Walter Reed Senior Center. For more information and to uh, register and sign up, give them a call. Here's their number, 703-228-0955. Daniel. What Craig Arlington Mill Senior Center needs 30 senior volunteers to help pack emergency preparedness kits. Seniors and teens from Arlington's after-school program will work side-by-side -side for this good cause. That's on Wednesday, January the 14th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Arlington Mill. Call 703-228-7369 to sign up. Craig. All right, Daniel, and we hope you're bearing up under the cold weather. One of the things around this time of year is SAD, S-A-D, Seasonal Affective Disorder. It's a type of depression related to changes in seasons. Senior adult specialist Nancy Connors will discuss SAD symptoms, uh, and she'll talk about treatment options and uh, all of that good stuff on uh, at this free event on Friday, January 16, 1 in the afternoon at Culpeper Garden Senior Center. To register and find out more about it, give them a call. Here's their number, 703-228-4403. Daniel. Well, Craig, do you, do you need information on Social Security benefits? Do you know what determines the best age to apply? Well, Mike May, a financial education specialist from Virginia Cooperative Extension Office, will address this and much more at Langston Brown Senior Center. This free discussion is on Wednesday, January the 14th at 2.30 p.m. To register, just give them a call. That's at 703-228-6300. All right, Daniel. And finally, in our News for Seniors segment, uh, Gulf Branch Nature Center is hosting a nature hike for seniors this month. Park naturalist Jennifer Souls will lead the hike. She'll explain how to read tracks and sounds of woods in the winter. Uh, if you're one of the hardy souls and you're up for this adventure, it will be held on Tuesday, January 13 at 4 in the afternoon. For more information, give Gulf Branch a call. Here's their number, 703-228-3403. And they'll tell you all about this nature walk in the middle of January. All right. That's it, News for Seniors, and we'll be back with a quick bye-bye if we have time or after we hear from Rich and his chat with the ladies from Teatro de la Luna. Here's Rich. Going off the news the right way with our old friends here at Teatro de la Luna. And uh, we have Nucky Walder here and Marcella Folito and a new person with Teatro de la Luna, Sharon Desiree. And, Thank you for having uh, me. There's a lot of stuff happening now at the Teatro de la Luna, and if you don't know this group, you're missing out. You know, I'm not a Hispanic guy, and I really I don't speak Spanish hardly, but uh, whatever they do over there at the Spectrum, uh, or any place, you got to go. Uh, they got they, it's just wonderful. But coming up on January 17, a Saturday, uh, they've got over there at the Gunston. You know where that is, is uh, that right? Roslyn, Roslyn Spectrum Theater. Oh, for the, 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 with the kids? For the kids. Oh, yeah. I should have yeah. paid attention to that. I'm so sorry, I'm so used to going to Gunston. The festival, the that's children's right. festival. That's right, the children's festival. Say that in Spanish for me, will you? Festival de Teatro para Niños. Can you do it too? El Festival de Teatro para Niños. Hey, they all do it right. <laughs> all right, well, I'll just say the children's festival at the Roslyn Spectrum. Uh, and uh, it's on January 17, and uh, they've got uh, two shows. It goes from 11 to 5 p.m., but uh, there's, uh, f at, uh, there's two shows, right? What, what times? What time is yeah, those? Yeah, we are going to show our new production, mm -hmm. Buddies, Not Bullies, yeah. Siempre Amigos. Okay, you know what always friends. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. See, I know these things. <laughs> but the best, best yeah. translation uh, for the title Siempre Amigos, we found uh, Bodies, Not Bullies. <laughs> yes, that's it's nice. very nice. And that's it's for nice. everybody. It's, it's uh, going to be a family big fest. Yeah. 
And if I'm not mistaken, at that spectrum, it's free parking right underneath. Free yeah. parking. You just park really the car yeah. and, and go in, and uh, no charge for that. That's wonderful. We always look for spaces with of free course, parking. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Just, uh, uh, Marcel, just tell us a little bit about this show. Sure. Uh, so, Buddies Not Bullies, mm -hmm. Siempre Amigos, it's a bilingual performance. It's mm -hmm. our newest production. It mm -hmm. was written and directed by Neher Jacqueline Briseño, and she's from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. She lives in Florida, but she came to work with us for some time. And uh, Sharon is in it, and myself, and also we have a third actress who unfortunately couldn't be with us tonight, Araceli Ma. Mm -hmm. And it's an international uh, yes. cast, really. We play yeah. wonderful friends. Yes. <laughs> since, since you're here, Sharon, Desiree, what okay. do you do in the show on January 17th? I play uh, one of the friends and a bird. And we're also storytellers. So we kind of come out on the stage and tell the children, you know, how the story's going to be. And, you know, kind of what it means to be a good friend and what it's like to be a bully. So I'd, like a lot of the best stuff we got from the show is the responses from the children. They get so riled up at injustices. It, really? It's beautiful to watch. Oh, yeah. isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yes. Uh, you know, uh, for you folks who don't know, I don't, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but Teatro de la Luna has been around for about 22 years. 24. 24, excuse me. Mm, yeah. Two dozen of years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you're, you're producing this, right, Nookie? Yes, yes, uh, for sure. Tell us, uh, how many kids are going to be involved in this show? Uh, about 100 kids, no for kidding. sure. Okay. Yeah, because we are going to have seven groups of dancers, uh, different countries from different mm -hmm. dancing, from Bolivia, Peru, Mexico, uh, Honduras, Paraguay, mm. El Salvador. El Salvador, yes. And we are going to present also our Lunitas. Our students. Oh, yeah. how nice, how nice, they are how going nice. To I want to, maybe we can put on the screen our phone number here for Teatro da Luna, 703-548-3092. And, of course, you can look them up on their website, www.teatrodelaluna.org. It's on the screen now. And uh, But this children's uh, uh, theater festival is, is a big deal. And uh, you should... I mean, I enjoy the show even without kids. You know, I've been there. Just it's uh, it's most enjoyable, most That's enjoyable. Right. Exactly. And, and uh, I uh, so rem remember the phone number though five four eight three zero nine two. And then I want to just quickly say, write this down. Now we were just talking about January seventeenth, and uh, that's a Saturday. And then also on a Saturday, in January thirty one, from seven to ten thirty p.m. There's a there's an adult show, uh, a tango show that uh, you people are putting on at the NRECA building there at 4301 Wilson Boulevard. And uh, uh, you, you got everything. Tell us something about it. Moonlight Tangos. Oh. Uh, we are going to have uh, musicians, uh, tango singers, and tango dancers. Wow. So that it's, sounds a, it's a wonderful, nice evening. Wonderful, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, nice wow. evening. Uh, if I get there in time, will you uh, girls dance with me? Oh, oh yeah, sure. of course. Oh, okay, they didn't hesitate. You, know, fight you know how to dance tango, <laughs> eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, but uh, that uh, is, again, at 4301 Wilson Boulevard. At NERECA, National yeah. Red yeah, Red the Red Yeah, the, the, that's the, the yeah. conference center there. At, yes, uh, close to Boston. Uh, yeah, the first street from Boston, right there on Wilson Boulevard there, yes. near Glee Road. Yeah. Uh, so that's January 31. Let's not get confused. From 7 at night to 10.30 p.m. That's serious adult stuff. Okay. Lovely yeah. stuff, <laughs> lovely stuff. But it's the same phone number, 703-548-3092. And then... Uh, I, this kids thing is so wonderful. Uh, even if you don't have kids, you, you try to go to see it. It's just so charming. I've seen other shows you've done. This is 703-548-3092, and that is at the Spectrum. That one, the kids thing is Ros at the Spectrum in Which Roslyn. Which is blocks away from the Roslyn Metro Station. Yeah, so it's yeah, really yeah. But no the big need thing even to is, drive. <laughs> yeah, but if you do drive... There's no There's charge. No charge. No just for walk parking. in there. It's nice and easy. You get on the elevator, go upstairs, and, mm -hmm. and, and see this wonderful thing. Yes. So Six hours of activities. Mm -hmm. Plenty of activities. Can't beat it. Yeah. Can't beat it. Yeah. yeah, the kids walk out of there. It's nap time. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you, Nucky Walden, Marcella Thanks Felito, as always, and our new friend here, Sharon Desiree. Thank you for having me. Uh, Till next time. Thank you. Mm. All right. 
All right, good job. Thanks, Rich, and uh, the lovely ladies from yeah. Teatro de la Luna. I think you had a captive audience there, Rich. Yeah. I think they Great job, like great job, Rich. <laughs> crazy about me, Good too. job, appreciate it. Thanks, Rich, and uh, thanks to the ladies from Teatro de la Luna. Also, uh, thanks to Judy Misabni of OSAP for sending us these announcements. Thank you, Judy. Thanks, Judy. We appreciate it. Uh, every week you send them here, and we try to get them out to you. And uh, thanks to all of you for watching our first show in 2015 here. Hope you have a... Uh, prosperous and uh, progressive and uh, uplifting new year for 2015. Absolutely. Right. Anything else to add before we go, gentlemen? YouTube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and go. the number one. Thank you. Gracias, Señor Piñe. De nada. De nada. <laughs> and thanks to all of you for watching. Uh, join us again next week here. We'll do it all again and bring you the news of Arlington for Arlington by Arlington. Uh, thanks for watching. Join us again next week. Have a safe week. Take care. Bye-bye.